What's up guys, how you guys doing? This is Ray and in this video we're gonna talk about the simple things that can make your recording sound amazing. Now, the other day I was listening to a track that I haven't heard in years. I was listening to this Jay-Z track, Dead Presidents. I haven't heard that song literally in probably 10 years, I don't know. But I decided to listen to it the other day and it just blew my mind because the bass line, all they used was a high pass filter to get the sound. They didn't play the bass line, which that was genius. So over here, I have a session that came with one of my beat CDs. And of course, this might not work great here because this is not gonna work great for every song. But I wanna show you what he did. And I wanna show you some other things you could do to kind of get that effect. So let me play what I got. Nice, nothing fancy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna duplicate the track. Uh, no inserts. Let's make that a little bigger. And actually, let's remove, uh, let's remove this plug in here. I'm not really doing anything with it right now. Right, so in that song, basically what they did, they grabbed an EQ, they turned on the low pass filter. Actually, let me turn it on first and start rolling. Let's see how that sounds. Nice, so that's kind of how they did it. Now let's say this really doesn't work for you. You don't like it. You want to add a lot of bottom to this. There are so many plugins that you could use, but I want to show you one of my favorite plugins to add bottom to a sound. And again, it might work, might not. This could either make it track or it'll break it. Seriously, got to be very careful with this plugin. So let's get rid of this EQ and let's go to Waves. And we're going to open up low air. So at the moment, the plugin isn't doing nothing. So I'm going to turn basically everything up. And I'm going to adjust the direct. Now I'm going to play it before and after. Nice, you hear that rumble? So I'm gonna duplicate the first track because it really doesn't make any sense to leave it alone. So I'm gonna duplicate it. Now I'm gonna play those together. Now I'm gonna play it without it. Nice. Like I said, it can make your mix or it can break it. So before we end this video, I'm going to show you something. I want to solo this and I want to show you the direct. All you're hearing right now is just a low end rumble. I'm going to mix in the other signal with it and see how both of them play together.
So there you go, guys. That's two tricks you could use. You could either do it with the EQ like I showed you. You roll off using a low-pass filter. Or you got to plug in like low air or plug in like R base. There's so many plugins out there. I just wanted to show you low air because I just recently got this. And this thing's crazy. This thing will give you that rumble. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, post in the bottom. Give me a thumbs up. Check out the description. I'm going to have some information there. I'm going to have the song. I'm going to have information about the plugin. And let me know what you guys think about this. Later, guys.